turn to marijuana. Uh, Representative Custer, you said there should be more study of marijuana because it helps patients, including potentially uh, for pain relief. But do you think the federal government should make marijuana legal for recreational use? Not without the study. And I think what they should do is deschedule. They need to change the scheduling of marijuana in order to do the research. You know, it's just one of the strange anomalies right now that all of the funding that we put into NIH, the uh, Institutes of Health, and the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, we don't allow the scientists to study the impact of marijuana for pain medication, for nausea, for, for cancer. And so I want to see those types of studies done before we make a decision like federal uh, declassification of marijuana. Mr. Negron, you said that the decision about marijuana should be made by states. And as you know, some states have legalized right. marijuana. Do you think the federal government should ignore the, the law breaking by those states? Well, it, it, it creates a problem. Uh, when you have a federal statute that says it's illegal, but then a state, and I lived in Colorado, uh, when all of a sudden they legalize marijuana. Just go out to Colorado and see the problems that it caused. You know, I don't believe that recreational marijuana should be legalized. I absolutely believe that when it comes to, uh, to pain management, and I have a, a very good friend who's the charge nurse at Mass General in the burn unit, and they're seeing great advances because they are studying it, about looking not at the THC, I think it's called the LHC for pain management. It's not addictive, but it's managing the pain a lot, more, a lot better than some of the opioids. And so I believe that letting the federal government um, decriminalize for, for recreational use, and I think that's important. We see great advances for marijuana for veterans with PTSD. So in a controlled environment, in a medical environment, I, I'm all for that. But just to have people just go out and, and buy pot because they want to do it, I think uh, I'm, I'm against, I know I'm against that. So, I mean, one complexity in this front is that um, businesses that sell recreational marijuana uh, can't really use federally chartered banks. Uh, do you have concerns about that kind of money circulating outside the banking system? And do you think that it, sure. it uh, you know, creates further right. criminal? Absolutely, because I think if you think that these people are just selling marijuana, then I think we're fooling ourselves. You know, if I find a conduit that's out there to move money around in an area that's actually selling under the guise of legal marijuana, I think, you know, we have a problem right here in this state with the opioid issue. And for us to even be engaging in a discussion about legalizing another drug, I think is, uh, is a disservice to the people that are struggling with the opioid issue. Representative Custer, what would you do about this issue? We do have a bill that's been introduced that would create an exception for states that have legalized so that they could um, use the banking system because I, I am concerned about uh, that amount of cash and I agree with Mr. Negron that it could be used for um, other illicit purposes.